everyone! I wanted to give you guys a really quick kind of catch-up video um, and I figured this would be a great time to do a sip and share although I'm not drinking anything right now I know it's a total fail for the first video but I'm actually just baking a cake right now hopefully I can get this in before the timer goes off um, because we're gonna sit down and have a pot of tea with cake and have tea time so uh, I figured while I'm waiting for that I would give you guys a little bit of an update I know I haven't been very present on social media or on YouTube. The last July was just so crazy and I just really fell behind on being able to keep up with videos. And I think once in a while, when after, especially after I have a few months of being very busy, um, I kind of just go into this little bit of a cocoon and I just need to recharge and I just get my priorities straight again. I usually spend that time um, nesting if you will I just get my home ready and I just make sure everything's back on track I make sure I'm back on my cleaning schedule I make sure the kids are back on somewhat of a routine I don't know it's just it makes me feel better it makes me function better and that's what I've been up to so last week I didn't even try to commit to putting any videos out I decided to just give myself the time to rest because I've learned that if I don't take that rest I will regret it later. Um, I'm pretty sure all you've seen from me really lately is just Cody and Rainbow Talks. There will be a new one out later this week. Um, apologies for missing last week. It just, we couldn't make it happen. We couldn't sit down to film. Life, man, it just happens. I wanted to take this time though to get into a little bit of what we've been up to and I asked you guys to give me some questions for this video on Instagram and after I'm done talking about this I think I'm going to answer like four of those, just the first four I got, sorry, but um, then later in the future we can do a full proper Q&A. So school is coming up and I feel like I've already gotten messages being like, no don't talk about that yet. Um, I feel like I really need to start settling down and getting my mind in the game. There are definitely some things I want to change with our upcoming homeschool, just curriculum approach, things like that, and I feel like I need to have some time to organize my life so that I can sit down and really go over things so that I feel really prepared for the new school year. Um, I'm almost done my school shopping for everything we need for this next new school year and again on Instagram a few weeks ago I asked you if you guys wanted to see a video about all the things I got for back to homeschool and you guys said yes so I will show you that um, I might just wait until closer to the end of August until I have everything let me know if you would rather see it kind of unfinished or if I should just wait until I have everything and then show you. I'm thinking waiting and showing you would probably be better. I just have one more Amazon order to um, purchase and, and get to my house eventually. <laughs> I'm really excited to start school though. That was another big reason we took this break was we noticed everybody was a little bit just off and um, especially Mackenzie. Obviously I'm not going to get too much into any of her personal information but she sat down and just told me we were too busy and that she was feeling it and so immediately I was like okay and so this month I'm just dedicating to uh, slowing down dedicating to slowing down and trying to regain a rhythm and definitely just have a little bit more of a plan we tried to do a really spontaneous summer and we had two months of a lot of spontaneity but I think she's over it um, and I think we're all a bit tired from it so that was a big reason we have kind of slowed down and settled down. So I appreciate everybody being very patient while we just collected ourselves a little bit. But I think we're all looking forward to the school year because it gives us a really really good rhythm and routine. Also I'm needing, I'm feeling the need to really just slow down and create pockets of time for myself. and just to have family time so we're really making sure we're focused on sitting down for family dinners every night again and we try and take tea every afternoon that we're home so we'll bake something or try and always have something baked in the house for tea time um, and I'm spending more time in the kitchen which is a place I really love to be um, I love to cook and I love to bake and I love to make things and so I'm just creating pockets of time for us to just be. That includes things like taking a longer time for coffee, setting things out, pouring tea, and making like a little bit of a tea party setup, just making things slow and peaceful and presented in a really gentle, lovely way. And also taking time for some yoga and 
health and things like that. Speaking of homeschooling and getting ready for that, I want to, I don't think I've shared with you yet, which there's so much I don't think I've shared with you guys and I have a lot of plans for videos coming up. If you really want to see a specific something from me, let me know as always down below and I will try, well I'll definitely write it on my list and we'll get to that. Um, now that I'm slowing down, I'm hoping that I can really start to get on top of videos again and go back to uh, the routine I was trying to manage. But speaking of homeschooling, a month ago I started a homeschooling group where I live. So I say I start started, it was, and I, I feel that is my cake. I need to check on one second. Sorry about the pause. I have about 10 more minutes to talk. So I'm going to try and make this uh, short and sweet. I feel bad saying that I created this homeschool group because that sounds weird. But basically there was a lot of interest in my area, but there was no actual co-op or group meeting. We had a Facebook page, things like that. So uh, there was a lot of interest earlier in the spring to create some sort of co-op and it just never happened. And everybody was like, yeah, but there was like nobody to organize it. So I asked if everybody was really serious about it. Some other women stepped up and we've all kind of been running this thing together. We started a homeschool co-op, so we've been meeting. So with that, it's been going wonderfully. We've been meeting once a week just to prepare for the fall. Let all the kids get to know each other. Let all the moms get to know each other. Parents, I should say. Um, and then we'll start up the proper co-op in the fall and I'm really really excited about it and I want to touch on this briefly I feel like I need an entire video to talk about this but a, a while ago a couple months ago I think it was I shared with you guys about how I was lonely and how I was lonely in motherhood and I was just feeling really lonely and as soon as I started to, as soon as I started talking about that and opening up about it it seemed like my whole world opened and I was meeting new people for coffee and we started this, like it gave me the courage to start this homeschool group and now that is amazing. I've met some amazing people through that and I'm sure I'm going to meet more. Um, it's just been really wonderful and it's just opened everything up. Like that's another reason we've been busy lately is because we've, our plates are very full with friends. We've been having a lot of fun with friends, also just like going on little trips here and there and doing activities, but we've just been you know, hosting game nights, having people over for coffee. It's just been really wonderful. And I don't know, I feel like everything just flipped and changed. I just wanted to mention that. Again, I feel like I could say so much about that and that might need to be its own video. But if you could take anything from this short little spiel about it is if you're lonely, say something, put yourself out there. Yeah, so if I've learned anything, it's to say something and to take that baby step to make change and I hope that if you do, that you receive the same experience or similar experience to me and, and things start changing. That's another thing that's keeping us quite, uh, it's just another thing to add that it's really fun. Um, and then there's also extracurriculars that Mackenzie is involved in this summer and coming up in the fall too. So we're excited about that. She's got some summer, a summer camp coming up that she's really excited for. So we kind of just took that as an opportunity to slow down August and just relax a bit. And while I'm filming this, this is Sunday today for me, um, tomorrow, oh, don't put butter in my hair. Let's not do that. Tomorrow is Cody and I's eighth wedding anniversary, which is insane. It's amazing. We've kind of been having an anniversary weekend. We went out to celebrate on Friday. We went out for uh, Dutch pancakes. I took Cody back to that Dutch pancake house that I went to and the kids. And we went to see Christopher Robin and we went and did some other fun activities. And we've just had a really beautiful weekend. This morning we went out for a pancake breakfast because there's a rodeo here right now. And we took Cody's grandma Oh, and yesterday there was a parade. We've just had a lot of fun and I haven't filmed a single bit of it and it's been wonderful. But that being said, starting now with this video, I'm going to get back into filming and sharing a little bit with you. If you have any anniversary questions for Cody and I to talk about or answer, put them down below quickly because I think when this goes up, we'll be filming probably that night or the next day. So let us know if you want, if you have any questions for us on our eighth wedding anniversary and we'll kind of have an eighth wedding, like a, an anniversary Cody and Rainbow chat uh, vlogcast on Thursday. 
I have a vlog for you guys that's just full of really random clips that I've collected over the past couple of weeks, but I don't know if it's going to come out because I really, I haven't looked at it all together. I have no idea if it makes any sense, so we will see. All right, so let's wrap this video up in a quick little ribbon. Sorry it was fast and I've been talking a bit fast, but I feel like I just need to move on and try and get as many things in this video as I can. Okay, so I'm going to answer the first four questions I got on Instagram for this video and that's how we will wrap this up, I think. So the first question was current favorite YouTubers. What are my current favorite YouTubers? Which is a really good question because I don't think I really talk about who I watch very often. Um, I haven't had, I don't have the most time to watch YouTube, but there are definitely some people that I love to watch and I try and catch their vlogs or though there are the, they are the channels that I'll go back on and catch up on all the vlogs I've missed. So uh, there's quite a few of them, but my favorite, if I had to say like my absolute favorites right now, and most of the time, let's be honest, are, okay, I love watching the Bucket List Family. Right now they're pairing up with a channel that I also love called the Home Love Network, and they're kind of launching through the Bucket List Family a little bit. So the Bucket List family are travel vloggers, they have three kids, they travel around the world, they have been for three years. Right now they are pairing up with Home Love Network to design their first home. And every Sunday you get to watch their adventure of wherever they are, what country they're in that week. And each country they're in is inspiring a room in their house. And then you jump over to the other channel, um, the Home Love Network, and they're designing that room and the kick is that the Bucketless family will not be seeing any of their house until the last week when we get to watch them see their house for the first time. So they have no hints, it's complete trust in their, um, their, their community and their followers to not to spoil things for them. They're avoiding everything and they're gonna see their house for the, uh, the first time and it's a really cool concept. But in general, I've been watching the Bucketless family for a long time and I love them. And they're one of my favorites. Okay, another vlogger I love. Um, I watch a lot of vloggers from the UK, actually. And one of my favorites, her vlog channel is called Rhiannon Ashley Vlogs. And Rhiannon is R-H-I-A-N-N-O-N. -N -N yes, Rhiannon Ashley Vlogs. I love her. I've been watching her for a long time. Her family is very sweet. I just love her chill style. She works really hard on making really beautiful videos. Another person I love to watch is Ellen Fisher. Again, I've been watching her for a long time. She's a vegan mom living in Maui and I followed her on Instagram for years. Like we started uh, communicating on Instagram since like when it was new. Um, and I just really like her, her videos. Her videos are super inspiring. She has really great recipes and I especially love all of her sauces. I use them a lot. Um, she makes great food. And she's a really wonderful advocate for animals and veganism and she approaches it in a really wonderful way that doesn't make you feel pressured and it just gives you more an uplifting inspiration than anything else. Okay, another UK bunch. So I love her, I've been watching her forever. Her name is Carrie Hope Fletcher. She is a, one second, that's cake. So Carrie Hope Fletcher is an actress on the West End, which is North America's version of Broadway. She is incredibly talented. She's funny, she's honest, she's raw. She's just a beautiful person inside and out. I love her. She's also an author. I have a couple of her books. Um, what could I say about this girl? I love her so much. I feel like she is my almost long lost sister from the UK. I love her so much. And speaking of her, her whole family are incredibly talented, wonderful people, and um, a lot of them are on YouTube. So with her, I also watch uh, Giovanna Fletcher and Tom Fletcher, which are, that this is Carrie's brother Tom and his wife, G. And they have two sons. Giovanna is pregnant with their third baby. Who knows what this baby will be, if it will be a boy or a girl. Um, they're really, really good people. They, again, are both authors and vloggers and they do so much charity work and other amazing things. The quality of their vlogs are really wonderful. They're really funny. They're really authentic. And they're just a really, really inspiring, lovely family to watch. And I love the Fletchers. And also they share a great love of Christmas um, that I definitely relate to. So watching them during the holidays is one of my favorite because I feel like they're my spirit animals. Um, yeah, I really, really love their whole family, Carrie, Tom, and G. 
Okay, so I feel like those are like the blocks of my favorite YouTubers that I watch the most. But then there are some that, um, and that's, that's about like the time allotted I have to watch YouTube. But I do try and watch other people and I do follow a lot more people. So I feel like these are people that I am, I try and watch when I can. Uh, that would be the Jergies. I'm getting more into them and I'm trying to watch them more because they're, they are, uh, doing RV life with their baby. Their baby's like three or four months old. They just had their first and they go all over North America. They hide little treasures in different spots to encourage people to get out and adventure with their family. They're really, really cool down to earth couple. I am really enjoying them. And that's J-U-R-G-Y-S. The Jerkies. Um, somebody else I really enjoy is Jess Fam. I've been watching her for years, and so whenever I have time, I try and catch up one of her vlogs. Um, she's a pretty popular mom vlogger, especially in North America, so I'm sure many of you know about her. And then somebody else, another person from the UK is the Miklax. Or, no, Mikalax, sorry. The Mikalax. I think that's how you say their last name. It's M-I-C-H-A-L-A-K-S. Um, they're a beautiful family. They're super authentic, super funny. They, um, have two boys. I think they have two boys, right? I'm hoping I'm not mixing them up. Um, they are a wonderful family, but he is incredibly talented with vlogging. He is cinematographer level of vloggers. His vlogs are beautiful. They're like watching movies, like watch them on your TV. They're gorgeous, he's funny, they're super revealed to parenthood and to things that happen and I really enjoy them. Okay, that was so long, but those are my favorite YouTubers that I'm currently and usually always watching them. If you have a favorite vlogger, let me know and I will check them out if I have it. That would be cool. Favorite show right now is the next question. Um, right now, honestly, I asked you guys on Instagram a couple weeks ago or a couple days ago, I don't know. Which show I should start? Should I start Call the Midwife or Downton Abbey? And the majority of you guys said Call the Midwife first. And so I've been watching Call the Midwife and I'm absolutely in love. I love it. It's so wonderful. It's totally up my alley. I absolutely love it. I can't say enough good things. So if you haven't watched Call the Midwife, watch Call the Midwife. I love it. Because I'm a really, really big fan of the 50s and just that, that era, so many things about it. I love obviously babies and midwifery and things like that. So it's just like all, and, and it's an English show. So it's like all my favorite things rolled into one beautiful ball of wonderfulness. So I'm gonna say that's my favorite show right now, for sure. Question three is where are your wine glasses from? And I'll show you. I showed these in my Instagram stories a couple weeks ago and I got these cute little stemless wine glasses that look like mason jars. These are from Winners. I picked them up at winter, Winners, I just found them. They're super thick, super durable, and you don't need to use them just for wine. I love them so much. It just says authentic, 100% recyclable glass on them. Super cute, it matches the aesthetic of the rest of my mason jars. They're from Winners. And question four was the fourth question that I got asked consecutively, was are you happy? That's kind of a loaded question. Um, I, the, do, do you mean am I happy now? Am I happy in my life in general? Yes to both, I'm very happy. So um, thank you guys for your questions and thank you for uh, giving me a second to blabber on and if you're, if you've stuck it out this far, then kudos to you, you are amazing. I hope this was a little bit entertaining for you, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know, I didn't know what to do, I couldn't just like give you this random clips vlog of all the clips I've taken over the past few weeks and just be like, here you go. No explanation of what the heck I've been doing, so I wanted to sit down, um, give you the first sip and share video, even though I'm not drinking anything, and kind of just explain what we've been up to, what's been going on. Again, if you have any questions or want me to go further into anything, just let me know. If you have any questions for Cody and I's anniversary episode, put them down below as soon as you can, and we will address those in that video. Um, until then, I will see you very soon, I promise. I'll see you guys later. Bye! Thank you for watching!